Hello, this is Stefan Landefer from Sequality. I want to give you a first uh, internal overview of our benchmark res results so far. Uh, you know, we have compiled this automotive software solution uh, that we showed already on Killed World Summit and on Bennett World. And uh, our task was it to optimize this application and to develop a benchmark, a GPU benchmark for IMX6 and IMX8 uh, and yeah, all other platforms as well. Uh, and yeah, what we found out that with this application, where you have a dual screen setup, a lot of high quality graphics, you are limited by the GPU and not by the CPU. So the GPU is the limiting factor and that's why we've chosen this application to develop a benchmark for the embedded uh, platforms that we want to know go through with you. So maybe we'll go over there. <laughs> so here you can see the lineup. We have here an IMX8, an IMX6 Quad Plus, Quad Core. So this, this is the best IMX8. This is the IMX6 Quad and IMX6 uh, Dual Light, uh, Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4. And we have here full HD displays uh, where we test them. And this is a 720p display. So this was the benchmark setup. And uh, perhaps Michael, you can uh, restart the navigation uh, once again, then you can see how this works. So basically what we did is we had a fixed route that we drove and we, we took the average frames per second here from this counter and um, we have uh, collected this data and put this into a big spreadsheet. So, uh, first of all, before I go into details of the results, the first thing that we encountered was that there was a problem with images and the IMX6. So, when we found out that if you just have a static image without having any logic going on on the screen it already costs you a lot of frames per second here you can see if you have um, with 1080p full uh, you if you have three full images you only get 15 frames per second and uh, this means just have three full hd images stacked on top of each other on the application there's nothing else going on no animations no logic nothing just static images and this costs a lot of performance and um, as the basic concept of the cockpit software solution is to layer images and to animate the images, uh, this is an important performance figure. And this was somehow uh, strange that this, uh, yeah, you have to keep an eye on this uh, image um, point here because IMX6 uh, processes here, they tend to have impact on this. The IMX8, Raspberry Pi 3 and 4, they can handle this very well. Um, but here we had this issue. We also have sent this already to Toradex, also this um, test software, to figure out what is going on here. So now let's come to the results. So this is uh, the cockpit software solution that we tested on the various platforms. And the first step for us was to really find out where are the bottlenecks in the GPU and the CPU and to optimize our software itself. And what you can see here are three graphics uh, with uh, different optimization levels. This was our initial starting point. Then we performed this image optimization. So this is this issue. We, we uh, optimized our application according to this um, yeah, knowledge. We merged down image layers and we really had a look at to, to uh, use uh, images as small as possible. And then we did some further code optimizations here and these are then the final results. So here you can see IMX8 really uh, kicks it more or less. Um, um, you can see you get 60 frames per second if you are in if you're not navigating so those are the uh, the blue ones here if you start the navigation and you also have this 3d visualization here then under full hd you get about 
45 frames per second on the iMix 8, about yeah, 38, 37 frames on the Raspberry Pi 4, and then a little bit over 20 on the Raspberry Pi 3. On the iMix 6, you have 15 frames or so, and on the dual light, you get about 10. So this is the performance stack. And for us, it was very good to see that the iMix 8 really performs so well. Uh, initially, we thought that maybe the Raspberry Pi 4 is even a little bit better, but now it turns out the iMix 8 really here kicks it. Yeah, everything was tested under boot to Qt uh, with different, uh, with, with Qt version uh, 5.14 or 5.13, yeah. And uh, yeah, so, um, this is it basically, um, and um, yeah, let us know what you think about it, and uh, then we can perform uh, the final uh, document and um, benchmark um, story uh, to yeah to share within the community. That's it. Goodbye.